Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to consume a web service with NetBeans 7.0. Just as a brief uh, introduction of a web service or invoking a remote method, web service is basically an object that resides remotely on some machine elsewhere and the way to interact with it is to invoke the method from that object. There are many benefits of using web services some of them are um, interacting with software objects that reside remotely is becoming more important as the world of computing trends towards the distributing computing. When services are made available on the web in the form of web services, it's important to know how to consume these services, whether they are free or subscription based services. In order to do this, we will go ahead and do an, a tutorial. So I will go ahead and recommend you going to file please fill a, a new project we will from the categories choose java and um, project we will be in a java application uh, in order to do the java application we need to enter a name we will call this web uh, service 101 we can choose a uh, location i created a file called web services and you can put in any location and from there put finish what, the, what the, this will do will be a regular Java uh, application. We will need to add a Java application client, which so a Java service application client. So which is very simple. What we need to do is we need to select the project. We're doing a right click. We're going to new, and we add the web service client. That's simple. In this, in order to uh, to, to create a web service we, we, we in this case we will add a whistle URL this whistle URL was provided by the professor which is this if we can just look it up very quick what exactly is this uh, whistle uh, URL is an XML document with all the functions where we can call and get access through these web services so what we're doing is we just copy this link to location and going to and to our project and we paste it. two simple steps. From there, um, after we we uh, enter this uh, Wisdom URL, we will need to look for the folder called Web Services Reference, which will be in a few seconds as soon as computer finishing to load all this information. Okay, so as soon as we finish compile, we will locate this file called web service reference. And what we do is we will navigate all the way down until we find the weather forecast. And this is the weather forecast soap. And we will find two different methods. One of them is get weather by place name, and the second one is get weather by zip code. Actually, in this uh, tutorial, we will just we will, uh, learn how to get the weather based on the zip code. So, we just we need to select and drag it to our main application. From here, we will observe uh, this uh, application called uh, "Get Weather by Zip Code." It's receiving an string, which it will be the zip code. Um, of which location we want to have this uh, web. To do this, it will be very simple. We need to, first of all, of course, we need to create a variable called uh, zip code, which will be the variable where we will pass to this function get weather by zip code. So we will just enter a, a random zip code. In this case, this is champagne 61821, and we need to just call the function uh, the, sorry the method so the way to 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 do this we'll just print we're doing a system that out that print line and we will detail here we will detail that for example the minimum temperature on fire is with the space and we need to add this we need to copy this method which is get weather by 
receive code. Okay, and we need to, of course, we need to pass the variable we just create, which is C code. Pretty much um, from here, we will find it out. The computer is taking a little bit long, and I apologize for this. Just give me one second. Okay, so from here, after we enter the minimum temperature on Fahrenheit, and we are calling this method, sending the zip code, we need to get on the detail and get exactly what we are looking for. In this case, as soon as you put period, we need to enter, um, we choose get details. Period again will bring us um, all the, the, the get information. So after the get the details, we will um, choosing the, web, the get weather data. In this case, after this, we need to go in and, and select get. We are preparing this uh, from where we will get the information. In this case, they're asking for the index. On the index, we will just put zero. In this case, what we're doing is we are getting the first record that this particular web server will return. And exactly what we are looking for in this case will be the get a uh, minimum temperature on Fahrenheit and we select. So several just easy steps to call this function and obtain the minimum temperature on Fahrenheit. The same way we will doing an um, but in this case we will using the maximum uh, temperature on Fahrenheit for the same location. So a couple change we will change the tag and uh, the most important of course will be the get instead of get minimum temperature on Fahrenheit we go ahead and get the, the maximum temperature on Fahrenheit two simple steps which doesn't require uh, a lot of thinking it's very easy web services is very direct and forward so from here for this point we just we will run the project and wait for the result Once again, I apologize, take a little bit longer my computer to process information, but get the job done. So right now we are running the project and just waiting for uh, the minimum temperature and maximum temperature that we just set. In this case, for tomorrow in Champagne, which is code, uh, the zip code is 61821, the minimum temperature on Fahrenheit will be 55 and the maximum temperature of Fahrenheit will be 78. So with this, uh, we demonstrate how easy it is to use web services and, and with the uh, NetBeans 7.0, which is one of the last NetBeans offer, and uh, that's simple and how much it can help us for applications. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye now.